guys, me, your host, Super Sorrow, thank you very much, Judy. Look what I got! It's a webbit. <laughs> So this is day one in our Easter collection video review and we'll be starting out with a Fortnite figure from Merc Farlands. Each day of the week we're going to be doing a different bunny rabbit review so stick around on the channel guys we'll be doing a bunny rabbit each and every single day on the run up to Easter starting today. So let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so this is Night Hair. Night Hair is from the Fortnite series collection brought to you by McFarlane's Toys. He's one of the newest, well one of the newer figures in the line. Not, not the newest, but one of the newer ones. And it's one that I've saved for review around this time of year. I have had him a little while in the series now. Um, but I have saved him to review for Easter. So guys, no he doesn't actually look like this at all times, you can lift his head up out of the collar. I just like to have his head down because he's got like a very weird smile on his face. It looks very odd, um, and I don't know the, with the ears up like that. It just looks weird. I wish he could. I wish they were articulated. So he could make them sit up. Um, so I like to display him. With, if I push the neck down and push the head down, I think that looks more sinister. But yeah, you can lift the head up and have him fully grinning and smiling away if you wish. His arms also do lift up at this top hinge here. Ugh. Oof. And there's also rotation there as well. There's also a bit of a butterfly hinge effect there as well. Um, this is the, sh the bicep, which does look a little bit separated from the rest of the body. There is lines there, which is a pain. Uh, but you can rotate that completely 360. Double hinge elbows on these as well, so you can get some really good elbow movement. And the hands are on ball joints as well on this one. So plenty of movement on the figure there. Now I can't tell what movement he has underneath, but there is a little bit like a, like a diaphragm hinge there because you can bend him backwards and forwards, but there is definitely something there, but we just can't feel what it is because of the coat on the figure, which doesn't come off. It is fully, fully attached to the figure itself. He does have a weird hook here on his jacket, which is kind of nice. Then he's got a hole in his back ready for the back bling. This part is actually separate from the rest of the figure, and this chain does sit around his neck, but it can be removed. Should you wish to display on a different figure or a different character. Um, but it is meant to sit on this bunny rabbit right here. It sits just around his neck on night hair. Which is kind of cool. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, at the figures, with, sorry, with the rest of the stuff for this one. So he has got his back bling. Which again is a little rabbit. And if we look on the back you'll see that there's a little hinge there. And it just slots in into there like so. He also comes with quite a nice big machine gun. Burst burst machine gun is it? That's pretty cool but you know I don't display them with these weapons. I like to display them with these because for me these are the things that make them different being Fortnite. So it does a, it does have a little hint like a little um, thing there which is quite cool because if you wanted to you could attach it to there like that because of that little because uh, of that thing there so that's pretty cool. Um, oh, there's one above it as well you could attach it to. You could even actually attach it to the chain around his neck, if I'm honest. If you wanted to. You could do that on his back quite easily. So you could have it attached to his, the back part of the chain. Let's see if we can do it. There we go, and pull it around. There you go. So you could have it sort of sat on his back. If you messed around with it, you could get that pretty flush to his back. And you could have him carrying it. So that's pretty cool. It's got a chain of trash around the top and then it's got the actual headpiece there of the blade with purple wrapped around the, with the, uh, the body of it. Let's just make sure it sits in his hand nicely. Yeah. There we go. Of course we like to tilt that in his hand so you can put, you can dual wield it. Very nice. Just with a Fortnite base, which I am currently using as well. He's got little slippers on as well, which you kind of know. It's got the word Fortnite written across the base, embossing it. So yeah, very nice figure. So what we do now, guys, is I'm going to head over across to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at night hair. So let's go to the desk cam. So here is night hair out of the packaging, looking switch. I really like this character actually. It's really fun. So Night Hair was an epic Fortnite outfit. 
It was first released on the uh, 19th of the 4th, 2019, so only about a year ago now. And uh, it was 1,500 V-Bucks when it was listed up. Um, it was an Easter holiday special um, atta attachment that you could get. Uh, sorry, for skin that you could get. And his back bling was called Floppy. So that little bunny rabbit on his back is called Floppy. It's got a name. Which is pretty nice. I'm liking the little like the look of the views for the paint around his face. It's a very very weird, but it matches. It looks it looks weird. It? It's nice. Um, his harvesting tool is called the steel carrot. Hence why the design of the carrot there coming off of the sort of like knife almost. So yeah, the steel carrot that's called. All in all, it definitely does say you know Easter, doesn't it? It's definitely something that's a little bit fun. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth being in figure form. It should have been saved though. I don't know why they released it randomly in the winter. They should have saved this as a, an Easter fall, like an Easter spring figure. And they could have released it in special Fortnite Easter packaging or something. You know what I mean? They seem to occasionally do that. Like they'll randomly release the Halloween ones early and things like that. They should save them for the actual Halloween time. As well on the feet, he's got some little bunny rabbit slippers, which are kind of funny. Um, he's got a carrot on his side, on his side guard there. He seems to have all these little like things notched into him, like he's counting down. Is he meant to be counting down to Easter, or is that as many kills he's he's gotten? I'm liking all these little stitches and things. There's even some in his head. It's like he's a floppy bunny, like like a kid's toy that's come to life <coughs> in a demonic fashion, really, isn't it? It's very weird, but I like it. And again. Most people can display it like this. Me personally, that head's going straight down because I think that looks ten times more sinister. <laughs> I'm coming for your carrots. <laughs> so, what are your guys' thoughts on Night Hair? Let me know in the comments down below. If there's a figure you're going to pick up for your collection or something you're going to get for this Easter as a little bit of a treat to yourself, let me know in the comments down below. His gun piece as well is pretty decent. It's nicely painted and designed. Lots of steel wash there on the silver parts. The black as well seems to have like a bit of a black and silver tinge to it. Those greens are really quite dark and do pop. And then there's that even like a red warning part there as well, which is nice. With little let. Little edges and knocks in it to make it look battle worn. Very cool. Um, shame I don't. I, I tend to use those with um, other characters like Marvel Legends and that. Because I like to, like I say, I, I like to display my Fortnite figures with these awesome, awesome axes. So, guys, are you going to pick this one up for yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, guys. That'd be awesome. And let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, let's see what other things we've got coming up this week. We still have a Fortnite, another Fortnite bunny to look at. I forgot the name of the skin. Uh, we've got Bucky O'Hare to look at and his uh, and his lady. I forgot her name. We've got Bucky O'Hare here as well from Super Seven that did these. Maybe another company. We've got Bucky O'Hare. We have Tiny Tina as well. Can't wait to review her again. She's a little bunny. And we've even got uh, Scary Tales from Mezco. And this is the uh, the White Rabbit exclusive. It's actually a brown rabbit, a bit like the March Hare. Comes in a really cool box. And then I found somebody online who was selling the other version of the rabbit, just loose. So I got me the White Rabbit as well. So that's cool. So stick around guys for the reviews, they're going to be coming out all this week on the channel and I've even got a few more surprises to throw in, it's going to be a great week. So guys I hope you enjoyed the first day of our bunny week, we've got a whole week worth of bunny rabbit products coming to the channel for you to sink your little teeth into this Easter. Are you enjoying Easter? I know we're in lockdown, I know it's not a nice time but I'm trying to bring some magic to the channel by bringing Easter to us. So if you're, if you're going to enjoy this week with me, please make sure you smash subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. We have got a bunch of new stuff to review for this week, including Bucky O'Hare, some stuff from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we've got Fortnite, and we've even got some scary tales by Mezco. So make sure you stick around to see those. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soupsorl, and I'll see you 
in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!